Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm going to be talking about iOS 5 blocking SHSH firmware downgrades. Okay guys, so I got a post here from MMPI that talks about how iOS 5 uh, will block the SHSH, like the blobs, how you can save the SHSH blobs and uh, you can use them to downgrade the different firmwares. Uh, like as of now, if you're on like iOS 5 beta 1, you can downgrade to iOS 4.3.3. Well, on the final release of iOS 5, they're possibly making it so you cannot go down to 4.3.3. Uh, they're saying that like if you're on, once they have further releases like iOS 5.1 uh, or something like that, they'll, uh, you'll be able to go to iOS 5.0 again, but you won't be able to go back to iOS 4.3.3 or anything like that. Uh, so it's not going to affect like any of the other firmware. So if you're on iOS 4.3.3, you can go to iOS 4.3.2 if you chose to do that uh, using your saved SHSH blobs. Uh, but if you are on iOS 5, you cannot go back to iOS uh, 4 or any other version like that. So the dev team explains in this post uh, how Apple will be beginning to make more use of the AP ticket uh, in iOS 5 and beyond are installed. The APT ticket will be checked at each boot of the device. Uh, but see, like that'll only be on the iOS 5 versions and beyond. It it won't be on iOS 4 or any of, or any of those versions. So they're saying that the APT ticket is being uniquely generated each time the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch is restored. Uh, it also rebooted. They stated that earlier in the post. They said either time it's booted or restored, it'll change. And uh, what this does is now, if you have your SHSH blob saved for your device. This is being changed every time, so the next time you try to restore with SHSH blobs, it uh, it won't recognize them for your device because this APT ticket is being uh, uniquely generated each time you boot up your device. I'm not sure if I have all this uh, correct information. I'm not sure if I understand it completely. But this is how I'm taking it from uh, what they're saying in this post. Uh, and this quote is the dev team talking. This is uh, explained up here in this paragraph we just went through. This next paragraph here just talks about the dev team. Uh, it's They're just guessing at this right now. Uh, they saw something in the iOS 5, uh, the betas, that kind of intends that this might happen. And uh, But they are just guessing. They're not positive that this is, they're not positive this is going to happen yet. This next paragraph states that GeoHot's line uh, exploit takes be effect before any AP ticket checks are made. So that means uh, devices can still be jailbroken besides the iPad 2 because the line rain exploit does not work for the iPad 2. But all the other devices will be able to be jailbroken uh, as a tether jailbreak uh, because it is made before the APT check is made. Uh, it will be a tether jailbreak. So that just means that uh, you'll still always be able to jailbreak with a tether jailbreak, uh, but untethered may not be possible. Uh, so that does kind of suck, but uh, at least you'll be able to be jailbroken on a tethered jailbreak. There's one part of this uh, quote here. I stated previously that you'll still be able to restore to older firmwares. If you're on like iOS 4.3.3, I said, I said that you can go to 4.3.2 if you wanted. Uh, well, they're saying that it will only be possible with using the older iTunes versions uh, with your saved uh, SHSH blobs. Because they are going to be updating iTunes versions and, and the newer versions, they're possibly not going to be able to... Uh, restore using your saved blobs for the older firmwares. If you guys uh, have a Twitter account like that, you see that Muscle Nerd every time a new uh, version of iTunes is released, Muscle Nerd will tweet and say if it's uh, safe for like jailbreakers and people to update to it. Just because if it's not safe and you you might not be able to restore using your saved blobs and stuff like that. And this last part of the post says that firmwares older than iOS 5 are unaffected. I did state that earlier, and uh, that is true. Except for the fact that if you upgrade to a new iTunes version, you may not be able to, to uh, restore using your SHSH blobs. That's all for this video, guys. I just wanted to go through this post and explain how this could happen, if it's a possibility or anything like that. If you guys want to give me your thoughts on this video and uh, what you think that they're going to possibly do with this and if it's going to happen or anything like that, go ahead and comment on the video. And uh, also, if you guys want any more information on this topic, feel free to contact me and I'll respond to you shortly. You can follow my Twitter account for tech updates and my new video releases. If you like this video, you're going to thumbs it up and subscribe for videos like this. That's all for now, guys, and this is iTech Every Week signing out.